Good morning from Marrakesh, Morocco. We just arrived here last night. We had a late dinner at the square, Jamal Al Fana Square, and it was quite an interesting experience. We didn't expect it's gonna be so hectic. There were like so many people, and everyone is trying to get money from you somehow. If you take a video or picture, they want money from you. Of course, a lot of tourists here in Marrakesh, so they really try to fool the money from the stupid tourists. So. <laughs> That's true, man. Even though I come from Asia, I was so overwhelmed. Was it shocking? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, there's so many people, yes, fine. But then they are speaking so loud. And then if you stop in any, you know, a store, that like everyone is trying to say like, Hey, madam, here. And then, you know, it's, it's like so difficult. They don't <laughs> let you in peace to decide what you want and, you know, just have a look. We just had the breakfast and now again we're gonna go to the square and walk around the area and just explore the city. So let's see Marrakesh. And please don't get us wrong, these were just our first impressions. In general, Moroccans are really friendly and nice people, but this is probably the most touristic area of Marrakesh. On the other hand, the Medina of Marrakesh is a very colorful part of the city and there are plenty of beautiful and magical places you should see. It's fun to just walk around and get lost in the narrow streets. There is always something happening here. season for cactus fruit and people were selling them all over the town so of course we had to try it too so this is cactus fruit it's really tasty it tastes a bit like papaya and the seeds are quite hard very sweet sweet flavor and very nice fruit In Morocco you can see people drinking tea everywhere and the most popular tea is the mint tea. It's made out of green tea and fresh mint leaves and usually people add lots of sugar too. It is strong, fresh, sweet and really tasty. My favorite tea in the world. After two nights in Marrakesh, we were super excited to take a bus to Essaouira. It takes around three hours from Marrakesh to Essaouira by bus and we are just having a stop here. It's a pretty chilly morning. I hope the weather gets better, it's been raining a lot. We had been unlucky with the weather in Marrakesh and it seemed to get even worse on the way. But then we arrived and the sun came out. It was really warm, relaxing and the atmosphere was just perfect. We fell in love to Essaouira right away. It's raining anymore, but the sea looks really rough. I haven't seen that big waves for a long, long time. I'm really getting excited. This place is really amazing. It's so beautiful and so different and so relaxing. Completely opposite to Marrakesh. And the sun just started to shine. Life is good. We miss this kind of weather for a long time. It was her birthday and she was craving for noodles. We found out that there is a Japanese ramen restaurant in the Medina of Esaura. What an amazing, unexpected, beautiful experience it was to eat and enjoy the view here. Very highly recommended.
finest of the day with a really nice fine dining birthday dinner. It's another day here in Essaouira. Today we're gonna do everything local way. Our plan is to go to the fish market. I guess there are two fish markets in Essaouira. One is like a very local fish market and then it's more this touristic fish market at the port. We haven't decided yet which one we try today, but we're gonna get some really nice seafood. Let's go! Yeah, that was a great haircut. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. It felt so great to look like an actual human being again. We were getting hungry, so we started to look for the local fish market in the Medina of Esauera. It turned out to be a bit harder to find than we thought. Luckily, I looked in the side street and there it was. We finally found the fish market and it was awesome. Let's go inside and see what they have to offer. Six. 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 All right, so we just bought the fish here in the local fish market. The fish and prawns will be grilled and then the squid will be deep fried. It's a really awesome place, it's very, very local. Hygiene isn't the best in Morocco. Here we can see that in this place they don't use water at all to wash the fish. Luckily the seafood is really fresh in Essaouira. It's also often grilled on a very high heat and it gets really smoky. Nevertheless, the seafood was absolutely delicious. Our best seafood meal in Morocco. So we got the food on the table. So here is the dorada fish from the Atlantic Ocean. Deep fried calamari. Looks very nice, very big calamari. And these are the big, big prawns. Almost the size of her head. <laughs> So we paid him over double price. He deserved it and it was totally worth it. The next day it was raining again in the morning. So we stayed in our beautiful historical palace hotel a bit longer before heading out. This was a perfect place for us to stay. Such a beautiful building and only a short nice walk away from the Medina.
It's her first time to ride camel. <laughs> How does it feel? It's so shaky. <laughs> I told her already, camels are not stable and it's not comfortable. Horses are much better. Today's mission is to get the lobster. So we're gonna go to the fish market at the pier. Hope we can find lobster from the fish vendors there. If they don't have it, at least they have it in the restaurants. We're gonna have lobster for sure today. Very salty. Salty but flavorful, really. It's very sweet though. I, I feel like it's soft. Not salty? No. Then another bag with four of these alien looking prawny things. Now we're gonna go to the restaurant and barbecue this and I hope we can get a lobster too. Because here at the market they didn't sell lobster so maybe we get a lobster in the restaurant also. Let's see. Ah, it's quite strong. Okay. Which one you like? That one or that one? Uchu. I think just one is enough because we have already so much. This one? This two? Maybe this is, two. Maybe this is bigger? This is lobster. Yeah. Uh, this is Oma. Ah, uh, this is not lobster. Uh, this is lobster. This yeah, is Oma. Pretty good, especially lobster was of course so tasty, like you can't go wrong with lobster, it's always delicious. We only got a small lobster as we bought the big crab from the market, but actually in the big crab there was so little to eat, the actual taste was really good, like uh, I think similar to king crab, very hard to eat also, it, it was very hairy and this, uh, like uh, it, the hair is very sharp and it gets in your fingers. We got also some sardines, like two sardines as an extra from the restaurant and actually those sardines were very tasty. Those are really cheap here and very basic seafood. I think I would recommend getting more fish than uh, those big crabs. All in all, I would say both of the fish markets of Esawira are definitely worth trying. This one is more expensive as it's more touristic, but they have a little bit different stuff to offer. If I had to give my opinion, I would prefer the more local fish market, definitely. Before leaving Essoera, we had still time for one more dinner and we ended up having our favorite dish of the whole trip here. It was the best tagine we had in Morocco, fall apart tender and juicy chicken with caramelized onions and nuts, seasoned with lots of turmeric and other spices. We really really liked Essoera a lot and had a great time here, but it was time to leave. We got back to Marrakesh, she threw up a few times and I had a horrible stomach ache and fever for the last days of our holiday. We still managed to visit a few famous sites in Marrakesh. place turned out to be a historical building called Dar Sherifa. It's a restaurant slash Riyadh slash art gallery. It is such a beautiful and special place and the atmosphere was just amazing. Great place to hang out and chill and take some photos. In 
Marrakesh, we saw lots of locals eating this soupy porridge looking thing for breakfast. So of course we have to try it too. So we're gonna try it now just for one bowl. One bowl is just five dirham. So let's see how it is. We don't actually even know what it is. Actually it tastes a lot like the Finnish hernekeito, the pea soup. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Is it a lentil soup or what is it actually? Quite a plain flavor. Apparently it's called Bisara and it's a fava bean soup, but I'm still not completely sure. Anyways, it's always super interesting for us to try some new foods and all the local specialties. I guess every good holiday ends up in a stomach cake. At least then you know you have tried something exotic and different, something new. And in Morocco, we definitely tried lots of new things and learned a lot as we are not very familiar with this part of the world.